Today is a very exciting day on the track test course because this challenger has excellent chances of cracking the best time. Hans Exner has been active in motorsport for over 30 years. His specialties are slaloms and hill climbs. Here he's pretty much swept the board. He has rarely occupied second place with his Simca. Today he has his eye on the best time in the track test, which has been held up till now by class competitor the NSU TT. Richard Rutzer and his so-called GTI of the 60s are the fastest duo that has ever taken part in the track test. The NSU TT, with just 121 horsepower, left all historical and even all modern track test candidates in the dust. But today a new challenger can steal the show from the front runner, the Simca 1200S Coupe with Hans Exner at the wheel. The car was actually built to drive in Group H, the class up to 1,300 cc. And there you have the choice of either driving circuits, hill climbs or slaloms in the car. A few things were changed on this car. The bodywork is made completely of sheet metal, apart from the bonnet and hood. I made them out of glass fiber reinforced plastic. That wasn't exactly cheap, but it was worth it to reduce the weight. Weight reduction is the most important thing in motorsport. Opportunities for reductions are everywhere. The dashboard is actually original, or at least a carbon recreation of the original one. And apart from that, the cage was welded in and lightened where possible. But otherwise, we've left it relatively close to the series. In acceleration, weight reduction isn't the only advantage. The short transmission ratios, typical in hill climbs, catapult the Simca to its limits in a jiffy, even at low speeds. Let's go to the back and have a look. The engine is a very normal Simca engine. It actually comes from the 1000 series built between 1969 and 1978. And that's been bored up to 1298 cc's and actually has 124 horsepower. The tuners all talk about 140 horsepower, but I don't think that's realistic. To build up leads in slaloms or hill climbs, quick gear changes are obviously an advantage. So a seasoned gearbox from motor racing is exactly right. But such a specialized racing gearbox requires a lot of skill to install in a Simca. The Hewland gearbox was a big problem to get into the Simca because the Simca engine is a left rotating engine and everything in the gearbox was right rotating. We had to stand the Hewland gearbox practically on its head. The switching system had to be changed in order to avoid having a mirror inverted shift pattern, an action that was very costly in a rebuild on a tight schedule. The car was built at short notice, between half to three quarters of a year. The rebuild went as well as could be despite the time constraints. The Simca is as stiff as a board on the road and Hans Exner drives his laps confidently and without major effort. Hans Exner and his Simca 1200S with a lap time of just under 18.2 seconds. They have ousted the previous front runner, the NSU TT. The slalom specialist didn't seriously expect this result, however. At some point I noticed that the NSU had put in the best time here, although many had attempted it. And with the Simca you don't have the problems in the slalom, nor on the circuit or in hill climbs where you have the problems with the NSU. I hoped that I could beat the best time, but to be honest I found it really difficult. I actually didn't expect that it would come in that much faster.